Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, bushings. So sometimes you'll see the word plane bearings, uh, but basically it's it'll look like uh, bearings that we saw before. The main difference being there's no little balls that move around inside. So this just like a, looks like a hollow cylinder, essentially. And these are good for, you know, this says sometimes good for like dirty environments because you don't have to worry about stuff getting inside so that's one of the benefits and then it's super cheap too so that's another good thing so if you know that you don't need something to um, have the same requirements as a bearing especially with like the speed requirements and all that um, you you know that these will be good enough for you and some of them are also like self-lubricating uh, depending on the type of plastics you're using sometimes it's like oil embedded uh, sleeves so that may be good for what you need. Okay, so uh, we could just choose one and take a look at it. You can see light duty dry running sleeve. You can see that high loads and speeds are not required. So that's one of the main things to look out for is sometimes the ball bearings one is for like very high speeds. So that's that's where you might need to have a very good one. So we could go take a look at, um, I like to default to a fourth inch shaft here because it's nice and easy. And you can see one is only 80 cents, which is pretty dirt cheap. And if you look at the tolerance for this, usually the ID for this is slightly oversized. So you, you'll probably get a nice slip fit in here. And then the outside, sometimes people will press press this into the part that they have. So that's why the outer diameter is also slightly oversized. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And I'm going to put it in my bushings folder. So this is how a bushing will look like. It's pretty nice and simple. So um, let's find a corresponding linear shaft here. I'm going to make a new tab. So if I look up a linear shaft, I'm going to get a fourth inch. And let's go with a short one here. OK, so this is pretty much all you need. And then you need a block that goes over this, which is a 0.375 inch. So if I make a new part, and if I sketch on the top plane, Let's just make a really simple uh, one inch by 0.75, maybe make it 0.5. And here I'm going to sketch the, do a 0.375. Okay, so we'll put this inside our bushing folder. Call this bushing block. So if we make an assembly, I'm gonna pin this, have our shaft, have our bushing, and then our block. So we'll assume this is pressed in, it'll look something like this, and one side will go like that. And this is a little bit long, but we're, we don't really care right now. Um, so it'll look something like this. And you could have a block that slides across. So this, this is pretty much all you really need. And we could extend the same concept as before, where there was, um, if it's just rotating, you could have two of these on either side. Or if there's like a lead screw on the other side, you could just have this block that slides back and forth. And if it's pressed, if you're worried about it like falling apart, some other things that people can also do is um, you could make this a step inside. So um, instead of going through all, you can make this blind and maybe just like 0.25, for instance. And then the main hole you might have. So we know the shaft is uh, 0.25, so you just need a hole for the shaft to pass through. 
So we'll just say like 0 0.3 and we'll extrude cut this. Okay, so this is the other way you could do this. And let's just, um, we could delete this mate here. So notice how now this block is free. Um, so it'll touch the interface of this like that. So this will at least guarantee the, the bushing to not slip out on one side. So it'll look something like this. This will at least uh, capture it on one side. And then the other face, you could add like a plate or something to contain it. So that's another way. So that way, you don't have to worry about push, um, pressing it in. You could have it stay in there and then have a face cover. So um, the face cover might look something like this. So let's say we have a top plane. Let's just make something quick. This might be, we'll make it the same size. Sure, 0.1 inch. And then the top, uh, let's say we're going to sketch a circle. So again, just enough for the shaft to pass through. So we'll make it 0.3. And we'll cut through all is fine. So we'll call this bushing cover. So now we have our bushing cover. We could put this here. And then we could mate it. And in practice, you could add a screw. You could screw this plate on here. Um, that's one way. But I won't add the screws now since I'm describing it. That should be fine. So you could create a container block like this. So now I didn't like that cut for some reason. So sometimes section view is a little bit weird. So you just have to like drag a little bit, and then it should be fine. So you can see now I have a bushing block that's captured inside, assuming that this is screwed onto that block. And then once you do that, you don't have to worry about the bushing slipping out as this block is sliding. Okay, So that's one way to handle your bushing. All right, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.